This game is actually formed out of a collaboration between Jimmy, Autumn, and the developer Isopod Labs, um, whose founders were the uh, original members of uh, Luxaflux, and so they have a long history of doing car combat games like the uh, Vigilante 8 series and True Crime. Um, and Jimmy actually wanted to create a game uh, that he and his buddies could play. They spent a lot of time on the road, like in the trailer and the, during downtime, playing video games. And one of the games that always comes up is Mario Kart. Uh, <laughs> but they're always a little bit embarrassed to play it because it's, you know, four grown men playing uh, Mario Kart. So they wanted to take that basic mentality and age it up a little bit for a slightly older audience, not necessarily more mature. Uh, so there's a lot of humor in this game. Um, but, uh, and it's still really competitive, really exciting, and offers all the same kind of uh, tried and true kart racing mechanics, plus a few new wrinkles. Um, as you progress through the race, you hit the colored markers to earn votes, which are then applied to your next upgrades, including nitros, uh, these side bumpers, which you can use to knock your opponents. Rather than use like a, a strict rubber band to keep the, the pack together, uh, they added shortcuts like this one um, at strategic places in the map, uh, which will open triggered based on where you are relative to, uh, to the leader. So if you fall really far behind, um, you'll get the shortcuts that opened up and will allow you to uh, catch up and get back into the race. Uh, and that's kind of like the whole dynamic of uh, kart racing is that you never know. Uh, you can be way in front uh, or way behind and at the end of the day. Uh, so that was one of the uh, traps in the game that uh, e each, uh, each track has a, a bunch of uh, environmental obstacles. Some of them just happen. Uh, others are actually triggered by the players, and you can use those to take out the players in front of you, like that one. And when you take a bunch of damage, um, you, uh, you can head to the pit stop and uh, repair, reload your weapons, and uh, get back into the race. So there's going to be a ton of different tracks, uh, lots of different vehicles. Uh, we're only showing four today, but... Um, there's going to be a bunch at launch and a ton of DLC as well. Uh, the game also features you know, up to eight, multi, uh, eight player multiplayer online uh, and four player split screen uh, and any combination thereof. So you, know, you can have four people on one, one machine, two on another, and two single player. All the characters have uh, personalized forward firing and rear firing weapons. Like this guy drops a bag of lawn clippings. Um, and throws uh, lawn gnomes as his rockets. <laughs> they all have different effects. Jimmy Johnson's Anything With An Engine coming out summer 2011 on XBLA and PSN and full retail on Wii.